Module 1.5 Advanced Filters in the Form Book. Welcome to Module 1.5 of your ProForm Professional Training Course. In this fifth module, we will look at Advanced Filters in the Form Book. Advanced Filters are a powerful part of the Form Book in ProForm and allow you to restrict what you see form wise when looking at a race. You can filter out ground conditions, race types, amateur race form, race classes, and distances. And much more. Creating advanced filters in the form book and saving and deleting advanced filters. Advanced filters are easy to create and save in the form book. We have opened a race running today which is Windsor 220 a five furlong race on soft ground for amateur riders. The advanced filters are behind the filter button at the top. When we click the filter button, the filter screen opens up. Filter screen contains five tabs with various information that can be filtered. You can filter race classifications, distances, class of race, official and actual goings, course, prize money, field size, course direction, race type, the upper and lower age restrictions of a race and the handicap limits. Weight, draw, age, win and place form. You can set a date to look back at the form so you can restrict a certain amount of form going backwards. You can restrict form to a particular month and you can restrict the speed rating shown or any user ratings you have set. For this first example, we will concentrate. On the fact that today's going is officially soft. So if we want to just look at how horses perform on soft going in the past, we can use the official going filter. If we right click in the filter list and select none, then we could then select just soft and heavy going. If we then click OK, the filter is applied to the race you're looking at. And at the top we can see the filter button has now turned red to signify that a filter is turned on. And if we look at the prior form screen, we are now only seeing form when horses ran on officially soft going. The form string is affected by the filter, as is the pace form string and various other fields on the race card screen. If you wanted to save this filter, you go back into the filter screen, click on save, choose a name, so we'll call this one soft heavy ground. And the filter is now saved in the list. Click OK again. And we can see the filter button now not only shows you that the filter's turned on because it's red, but also the name of the filter. If we want to turn the filter off, we can quickly just select the traffic light button to turn this filter off. The filter's then applied again, and we've now got all form showing again. So let's add in another filter. If we want to reset the filters, we just click on the clear button and then let's say we now only want to look at past amateur races so we click on amateur we'll save this for filter as well and call it amateur races and click OK to apply it And now the prior form is only showing form where these horses have run in amateur races, which is only three lines of form. So we go back into the filters again and reset them. Let's say we now just want to look at five furlong form. So we right click and deselect all distances, choose five furlongs, we'll save this. As 
five thermal races. Click OK. OK to apply the filter. And now the form is just restricted to five furlong races, as we can see by the distance column. And the form strings reflect the same. So since this is a five furlong race on soft ground, let's add in a filter that's not only five furlong, but also only on heavy or soft ground. We won't save this, we'll just click OK. So it tells you it's an unnamed filter because we haven't saved it. And we're now just looking at form over five furlongs on soft or heavy ground. And we can see that Renningham has two wins to its name under these conditions. And if we look at horse form, they were both at Yarmouth. And Welsh Inlet has five races under these conditions of five furlongs and soft or heavy ground, winning one of them. So the advanced filters allow you to set up filters using various criteria or a mix of criteria and save these for use in the future. So we could also have set up one for the course we're looking at today. So we select none to deselect all the courses and we'll just select Windsor and we'll save this as Windsor form. Click OK. Apply. And the form now for all the horses in this race is only showing their record at Windsor. And again the same applies to the form string and the pace form and various other fields. And if we want to delete one of these filters, we just select the filter we want to delete, click the delete button, and that would remove it from the list. Quickly selecting advanced filters. Once you have some advanced filters set up, it is very quick to select them when viewing a race. So we're back in the form book again, and if we select another race at Windsor, so we'll select the 450 which is a one mile handicap. Now we already have some filters set up no filters are turned on at the moment but the little down arrow between the filter button and the traffic light allows you to see a list of the filters you have saved so we can quickly select soft and heavy ground. This will apply the filter to the race we're looking at and has now restricted the form to just form lines on soft or heavy official going. And if we want to select another advanced filter, just click the arrow again. We'll choose Windsor form this time. So this was the one where we restricted to just form at this course. And we're looking at the prior form screen. And there's a few horses we form at Windsor. And we can turn the filter off using the traffic light and if we click back into them we could add in more advanced filters and save them into this list so for instance you may want to set up filters for one for each of the goings and save them in this list or one for each of the courses and make a list of each one saved so that when you're viewing form in the form book, you can quickly apply a filter. You can use the filters in conjunction with the quick filters. So if we had went back to the soft and heavy ground filter, we could also then say only show the winds and places. And this is now using two filters, the advanced filter along with the quick filter for just wins and places. If we move to another race at Windsor, this filter is still applied and the same would apply if you moved to a different course. 
So we've still got the soft heavy ground win and place only filter applied to Pontifrac race, which is actually on good to soft ground. So you have to be careful when you're viewing a race to make sure you've got the correct filter selected. So in this case you might want to turn this filter off. Turn off win and place. So you're back to no filter set. Then you might want to go in, clear the filters, deselect all the courses and have a look at this race just based on form in the past at Pontefract. What advanced and quick filters affect in the form book? Advanced and quick filters affect many screens in the form book which are race cards, results, horse form, prior form, post form, in running form, graph views, trainer trends, pattern matcher, full horse collateral form, the search results for horses, jockeys, trainers, races and courses and the yesterday's, today's and tomorrow's runners screens. So remember if you have any advanced or quick filter set the screen and form you are viewing may be affected. That's it for module 1.5. Tomorrow module 1.6 will become available to you. Have a go at creating and saving some advanced filters. They will become a very useful part of your form study.